Yarra Bay is located on the northern side of Botany Bay in the suburb of Phillip Bay, approximately 16 kilometres south of, of the centre of Sydney. The bay has a southwesterly orientation, making it unique among Sydney's beaches. The southern boundary of Yarra Bay is defined by Yarra Point, and Bumbora Point forms the northern limit. It's a quiet beach ideal for families and swimmers. The Yarra Bay Sailing Club has been located adjacent to the beach at one end since 1928, near historic La Perouse. The Yarra Bay Sailing Club provides recreational facilities for local community and visitors alike and has done for over 90 years. Yarra Bay House on Yarra Point overlooks the beach. It's occupied by the local Aboriginal Land Council. Further along the grassed 4 Dune area is a sandstone monument commemorating the landing of Governor Philip. It was here on the 19th of January 1788 that Indigenous people directed Governor Philip to a water source now named Bunurong Creek. Sounds like paradise. Is this too good to be true? There is a catastrophe brewing, a plan that if implemented would devastate all of the land and sea in the area. The New South Wales State Government proposed to build a mega cruise ship terminal right in the middle of this historic natural wonder. Obviously, a very real threat to Yarra Bay. Save the Bay Coalition was formed in July 2018. It's a rapidly growing movement of local residents, community groups, businesses and other citizens from all over Sydney working together to stop the New South Wales Government from developing a mega cruise ship terminal in Yarra Bay near La Perouse and the mouth of Botany Bay. There are two sites that would have grave impacts on Yarra Bay are under consideration. In Yarra Bay, which the State Government is believed to favour, and Mullinoo Point at the entrance of Yarra Bay, which is less likely. The terminal the State Government would construct in Yarra Bay would accommodate two mega cruise ships. These are the latest craze of the ever-expanding cruise industry. While they are great money earners for the industry, they are too large for many ports, including Sydney Harbour, and because of the number of passengers they carry, over 5,000, so they create congestion and other problems for ports that do accept them. Thousands of residents, many businesses and two local councils, Ranwick and Bayside and other stakeholders are united in the opposition to the state government's evaluation of Yarra Bay as a location for the mega cruise ship terminal. We're joined by federal and state members of parliament, Matt Thistlewaite and Michael Daly and the La Perouse Aboriginal Land Council, the traditional custodians of the land. Yarra Bay is in direct line to the ocean and huge southerly and southeasterly swells can roll into the bay at any time of the year. Every year this area suffers extreme weather conditions and huge swells. The existing breakwater that shelters ships in Port Botany is west of Yarra Bay and would not protect the proposed terminal. A terminal in Yarra Bay would therefore require massive investment in new breakwaters and other engineering works to protect gigantic berthed vessels from the effects of waves and wind. The building of breakwaters and wharves for mega cruise ships and the associated dredging of the seabed would completely change the character of Yarra Bay. The impact of the works on other beaches and sensitive locations in Botany Bay, such as the adjacent Frenchman's Bay and scuba diving sites around Bear Island, is difficult to predict, but unlikely to be benign. Much of Yarra Bay is only a few metres deep, so substantial dredging will be needed. Breakwaters, built for one purpose, can adversely affect other areas in the vicinity through changes in wave behaviour and tidal flows. This can cause coastal erosion, which will impact Yarra Bay and neighbouring Frenchman's Bay. In severe weather, cruise ship activity and wave bounce back from newly constructed breakwaters will impact shipping lanes and delay the arrival and departure of cargo vessels at Port Botany. A mega cruise ship terminal will impact negatively on the operational efficiency of Port Botany, which is currently a dedicated freight handling port. Save the Bay Coalition has made its strategic risk assessment available to the port operator, New South Wales Ports, and to the terminal operators at the port. The risk assessment is available on request. Botany Bay is home to hundreds of marine species and marine coastal and estuarine habitats, including some that are threatened. There is a great concern for the impact of a mega cruise ship terminal on marine species and habitats, loss of species, coastal erosion and degradation of wetlands and seagrass beds are environmental impacts that would result from this project. Species extinctions are possible. The bay receives regular visits by dolphins, whales, 
turtles and fairy penguins. Molyneux Point is even home to a seal colony and rare pygmy pipefish, which are protected by the Environment Protection and Biodiversity Conservation Act. Pygmy pipefish are extremely susceptible to habitat change and disturbance. Dredging to accommodate the mega cruise ship terminal will increase the likelihood of extinction of this species. As well as wharves and breakwaters, cruise ship terminals require a large amount of land to support the vessels. Due to the shortage of available land, extensive dredging would reclaim much of Yarra Bay for a passenger terminal and for bus parking, delivery of provisions and car parking. The cost of the terminal would likely be over a billion dollars. Once all of this has been paid for by the taxpayer, onshore power will be out of the question, so local residents will have to endure the diesel fumes and the noise of the ship's generators running around the clock. Cruise ships generate their own electricity and produce dirty exhaust round the clock, even when in port. Reduced air quality and unknown health consequences will result from mega emissions from sulphur dioxide, nitrogen and volatile organic compounds. Yarra Bay is a very popular Sydney beach with both real locals and people from elsewhere in the eastern suburbs such as Coogee and Clavelli who find their own beaches overcrowded and unsuitable for some activities. For people from the western suburbs it's a favourite beach as they can access it easily via the M5 and Foreshore Road. According to an Energy Australia study, in summer, 7,500 people come every day to the La Perouse area, including Yarra Bay. If Yarra Bay was spoilt or lost altogether, its current users would move to our other already crowded beaches. It makes no sense in our fast-growing cities such as Sydney to sacrifice a precious recreational asset such as this beautiful beach. Consider what we stand to lose. Beaches for swimming, Yarra Bay and neighbouring Frenchman's Bay are calm, safe and protected beaches, making them ideal for families and less experienced swimmers. These beaches have been holiday and excursion destinations since the late 19th century. We stand to lose flat water for recreational activities. Watercraft that use Yarra Bay include sailing dinghies, kayaks, windsurfers, kite surfers, stand-up paddleboards, yachts and motorboats. All these uses will be excluded if the terminal is put in place due to commercial port security and other operational restrictions. We stand to lose green space, shade and parkland. Local parkland will be lost to provide space for landside infrastructure to support mega cruise ship operations. Currently the open space and surrounding walking tracks are shared by the community including families, walkers, runners, cyclists, dog owners, kite flyers and model plane enthusiasts. We will lose a quiet place on weekends and in the early morning and evening, offering peace and solitude in a busy and crowded Sydney. Consider recreational fishing grounds. A cruise ship security exclusion zone will end safe, protected recreational fishing in Yarra Bay, rendering the recently installed artificial reef obsolete. We stand to lose scenic beauty and open views across the bay, including sunsets. The public will no longer be able to enjoy the scenic beauty of Yarra Bay, its open views across the broad expanse of Botany Bay and its spectacular sunsets. The westerly outlook, extremely rare for a Sydney regional beach, means that every year hundreds of couples record their special day with spectacular sunset wedding photos. We stand to lose a valuable outdoor site for the film and television industry. Yarra Bay Beach is frequently used for movies, documentaries and advertisement shoots because of its beautiful hidden jewel quality. This commercially valuable and irreplaceable site will be just lost. Yarra Bay is steeped in history. It is one of the only remaining areas in Sydney where indigenous people have had a continuous connection to the land and sea for thousands of years. Yarra Bay is the site of a famous Aboriginal settlement and the land is sacred to Australia's Indigenous community. The La Perouse Local Aboriginal Land Council has not been consulted and they have formally expressed their opposition to a mega cruise ship terminal in Yarra Bay. The Aboriginal Land Council is strongly opposed to losing control of this land for a mega cruise ship terminal. This will become much more than a local political battle if the Aboriginal community experience a detrimental impact on their social and spiritual connection to this land. 
lose access to Yarra Bay for traditional fishing and other cultural practices and witness the destruction of their traditional fishing areas. The Yarra Bay Sailing Club has conducted sail training and racing from its clubhouse on Yarra Bay since 1927. The club is a valuable sporting outlet and life skills education facility for young people. The club's courses make use of the full extent of Yarra Bay during the summer season, which is when the proposed terminal would operate. A terminal of that size, with breakwaters and extremely tall mega cruise ships alongside, plus a security exclusion zone around the cruise ship wharf, would totally compromise the club's courses and interfere with the winds that they rely on. The club cannot survive the loss of its sailing courses to a mega cruise ship terminal that caters not to the needs of the youth but to the growth ambitions of the cruise industry and the convenience of its predominantly elderly customer base. Road congestion in the area already affects the operation of Port Botany's freight operations. A cruise ship terminal would disembark and embark 7,000 or more people in a single day from two mega cruise ships. Hundreds of coaches, taxis and delivery trucks would have to access the terminal via Foreshore Road, Botany Road, Bunanong Road and adjoining roads and this would severely impact this heavily congested area which is already vulnerable to gridlock. The modest plans that exist to improve the transport and road infrastructure in this part of Sydney are not adequate to meet the additional needs of a mega cruise ship terminal. The congestion that would ensue when thousands of passengers and crew were transported along our local main roads would be stressful for the cruise ship passengers and would severely impact the residential communities, local businesses and port botany. The terminal would be directly adjacent to major hazardous facilities including bulk liquid, chemical and gas storage. The International Pilots Association has expressed concerns about the close proximity of berth mega cruise ships to Sydney Airport's third runway. Possible issues include turbulence and restricted visibility issues on takeoff. A mega cruise ship grounding as a result of adverse weather or human error would put Port Botany's freight operations at risk. A mega cruise ship terminal in Yarra Bay simply does not make sense. There are suitable sites in regional New South Wales such as Newcastle and Port Kembla and Wollongong where the terminal would be welcome. We also have it on record that the leaders of the, of the American owned cruise ship companies think Port Botany is a horrible location for a mega cruise ship terminal. We appeal to you to support our campaign of opposition to this unrealistic proposal from the New South Wales State Government. We understand the need to find a solution to cruise industry port constraints in New South Wales, but a terminal at Yarra Bay or Molyneux Point is not the answer.